This is a four minute video about the study, The Gender Equality Paradox in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Education by Professors Stute and Geary, published in the journal Psychological Science in early 2018. There are far fewer female engineers than male engineers. This is well known. It has long been thought that when countries become more gender equal, there will be more and more female engineers, and more female computer scientists, and more female astronomers, and so on. In short, as gender equality increased, the expectation was that more and more women would enter the domain of science, technology, engineering and mathematics, abbreviated as STEM. Professor Stutengeary asked whether this is actually the case, and if not, why not? They analyzed how many men and women finish a college degree in STEM in 50 countries around the world. The surprising finding is this. The more gender equal a country is, the lower the percentage of female graduates. For example, in gender equal countries Finland, Norway and Sweden, the percentage of female graduates is below 25%. And in less gender equal countries such as Turkey, the United Arab Emirates or Algeria, it is over 35%. Given this finding, they asked what can explain this gender equality paradox. The researchers argue that gender equal countries typically have a higher level of life satisfaction. Good examples are the Scandinavian countries. In these countries, people may feel that they can afford to choose a college subject based on their interests. In the less gender equal countries, people are less satisfied with their living conditions and may feel that they need an occupation that just pays well so that they can have the good life that people in the gender equal countries often take for granted. The researchers also analyzed if 15 year old boys and girls have different academic strengths and weaknesses that could make them choose different college subjects later on. Although boys and girls are about the same in science knowledge in most countries, there is a large difference in children's ability profile. Boys are typically better in science and math than they are at language, whereas it is the opposite for girls. Students who have strengths in science and math tend to go into STEM fields, and those with strengths in language tend to go into the social sciences and humanities. Further, boys are typically more interested in STEM subjects than girls. Thus, when young people consider their individual best subject and their personal interest, boys and girls will go for different subject areas. Boys are more likely than girls to go for STEM. It should be noted that these differences are, again, larger in more gender equal countries. This culture influences the degree to which boys and girls develop their interests and abilities in STEM. But importantly, the pattern is the exact opposite of what most people will believe. This research has important implications for the way society thinks about gender and STEM. Making a society more gender equal will not automatically make women and men more similar in their study and work choices. In fact, it may make them more different. This raises important further societal questions. For example, if young people make a reasonably rational choice based on ability profile and interest, does it really matter what percentage of each gender is in different jobs? And if we think it matters, can we realistically expect that anything will change? given that the most gender equal countries have the lowest percentage of women in the technology sector. Hopefully, this study will trigger a debate about these important questions.